I'm going to run out of memory today. I've been everywhere. That is one good looking machine right there. Still over here in Kingsport. Look at that seat. Boy, those simplice simplicities here. Those seats look like chairs you'd sit out in your yard with. What is the real deal with simplicity? See that jack on the front right there? That'd be easy to knock it. Th Man, that is a good looking machine right there. I got a book and a prices on the standards. So, I have priced almost every brand now. I think I have. For my standard, I don't know what I'm going to do. Ferris is definitely in the running. But I don't know. I don't know. Well, I like that Ferris. Why does somebody ride a freaking motorcycle do that? Blah, blah, blah. I'm on a motorcycle. Let me rev it up. Blah, blah. That's so annoying. Well, I like these tires and wheels on this special edition. They're on sale inside Ferris. He's having a sale. Good prices on them. But anyway. That's some good looking mowers, I'm telling you. This place is like in a bad, a bad location. You have to drive all the way across freaking town to get here. It's cold. Not that bad. I don't mean bad location like back, well, it's in downtown Kingsport. <laughs> What's going on, folks? Ha! <laughs> I, I Instagram Simplicity. I tagged them. And I said, who puts a desk chair on a lawnmower? And he's like, for, or I said, why? And they said, they replied back, for comfort. <laughs> so it's just funny they got me back. I guess that's whoever runs their pay. Their, I've done this uh, voiceover once before. I didn't like what I was saying. I was a little spry, if you know what I mean. Kevin from Texas knows what I'm talking about. It was like at midnight. And I kept getting texts and I was wild or wild, hyper. You know what I'm saying. Leave me alone. So I was all over, and I said, you know what, I'll edit this down. And then I got, and I've edited it so much that I just deleted it. And I was like, okay. So anyway, this is a video that I forgot to upload. I made a voiceover and everything for it before, too. So we're going to have to redo everything. Excuse me. All right. When I was in a, if y'all remember, four or five years ago, I almost got a bad boy stander. Go to the video. It was me and my son when he was a lot smaller. And the picture is me standing on a bad boy stander. And I almost bought one. Do y'all remember that? I made several follow up videos. Some I deleted. Some I didn't. But So I was on the stander wagon a long time ago. And I've got the videos. So before I was stander hunting... I had stand on them prior, but they don't make you those anymore. The Revolt or Revolt, whatever you want to call it. It's the new one. So, I was watching a YouTube channel last year or something. And there's these two. It's a man and a woman. I'm going to tell you why I bought a stander. Well, it ultimately ended up buying a stander when I was already going to buy one anyway, years ago. Watch the video. There's a husband and wife team that uses two standers. And I watched them the way they had mastered it. And they made everything so much more efficient with them. And I'm trying to think of what they, they like. Something about a sailboat and barefoot and paradise is their name. or Like they go to Raccoon Island. That's the only thing I cared about. That's when they went and seen the raccoons. They're so cute. It's on that island. But they they're they got more subs watching them, you know, 
that girl in it, you know, likes nude beaches, so, you know, he takes scantily clad pictures, so you know what that means. Freaking lame people has to watch a cute. Uh, but I like their lawn videos. A lot more than I like their boat videos, but, they, you know, everybody's got a preference. They were cool people, and they was doing it a long time ago, and they was blowing with the walk-behinds and everything. Like I said, a year or two ago. You can look at their channel. So that's who taught me that I could blow and weed eat. I weed eat on my stander all the time. I don't know if y'all know that. Long driveways like at my house and a lot of places. And that Husqvarna 525 LST is so torque-happy and lightweight. Because that's the torque model of the 525. I'm talking to Happy now because they using the L model, the entry level. But anyway, and if he wants one to compete more with a 91 or 90, he's going to have to get the LST, which, you know, a four-stroke has valves and a more precise and a high, hotter combustion. As a two-stroke has a power band, they got to get that going. It's like, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. You got to get a two-stroke going when a four strokes into instantaneous power on demand but then a two stroke you don't have to worry about valves or anything but any hoot i'm getting off topic again if you've seen this video i went and i looked at all the standards that i could <sighs> that's for texas veteran lawn service and this video shows the Ferris. Now, the Ferris dealer, mm, if I had the book, I'd tell you the prices. Let me see. I think this is the book right here. Or is this the bad boy book? Bad boy book. The prices were comp to uh, Skag. But Ferris has larger motors. I hate saying that word. Engines. And remember, Vanguard is made in Japan. It's not made by Briggs and Stratton. And they have big blocks. Like, you know, Happy's got one of the mowers like that. And I don't know why Skag for the price is almost the same price, but with a small Kawasaki. And y'all know me, I don't like Kawasaki. I think it's all hype. I'd love to have that Vanguard. Daihatsu are one of them. I bet uh, John Deere Kid knows who makes it. I forget I did know. I looked it up, but I'm too lazy to look up again, but... A Vanguard's a real engine. That's what should be on that standard of Skag. But anyway, Skag, it was like 10 grand was all for a Z3. I'm going to say Z3. I, come on now. Help me out. It's 52. I didn't price nothing bigger than a 52 because here it would be Scalp City and where I live. 52 at some of these pitches I have to be so careful on but I've known my properties good enough now to know what to avoid and how to drive on these hills and mountains so I priced 52's and it was like the same it was actually Skag was a little cheaper because they had a stand up for sales or stand up for I don't know so you but you get that big vanguard with that ferris so in this video i showed that i went there and this is the same dealer i'm getting ready to go to and buy one of them red maxes do i need another trimmer no do i want another trimmer yes i'm the only one i know that trimmer crazy there's a guy named shane he quit making videos he was as crazy equipment happy as me mike zavitz is close to me I've got a problem. He buys more mowers than anybody I've ever seen, too. So he's more mower happy, and I'm more trimmer. I'm more trimmer happy than anybody y'all know, probably, or will ever talk to. And if there's anybody worse than me, please tell them to talk to me, because me and them, me and them could talk each other's ears off. But anyway, I went to this Ferris dealer. I like the X Mark, the old, you know, like. Toro, they're going to keep their grandstands with the pedestal on the back or pad on the P porch on the back. X Mark Stars, and I don't mean to offend anybody that owns one, is the ugliest 
stand on mower or any mower I have ever seen in my entire life. I will never own a Starus because of the looks. I'm not kidding. The Ferris, truth be known, was almost mine. And I'll tell you what happened. I stood on the skag. Is the skag better? I don't know. Is the Ferris better? I don't know. You'd have to own both of them and about the same size and you'd have to you'll never know because there's too many variables. But when I stood on the skag it it, it meshed with me. See, here it's what it's all about is your preference. Now, if skag don't put a bigger engine on when I'm ready to buy another mower, like Skaggs walk behind SWZT would probably pull me and two other dudes behind. I'm serious. It will go straight up a hill and not even bog down a little bit. That SWZT is probably the best mower I own. Well, now that they put that new deck on it and, re you know, they changed those brackets. It will go up a hill like it don't bog. I'm serious. It does not. Man, I can go through grass so thick and tall. It'll bog just the tiniest little bit, but it'll just boom. Just like that old SWZ walk behind I have from Skag. So what? <laughs> I can't complain about Skag's walk behinds, but that daggone, that SWZ, I mean, that V-Ride 2, when I stood on it, their, their P-Porch is so good and it has those external springs and those underneath it. It's got two sets. It has more travel up and down. It's like a trampoline on it and it's so high quality. The whole mower screams quality when you get on it. I'm not saying the Ferris ain't good. But in my opinion for whatever it is, I think Skaggs made better. Now, hindsight, let's see, would I buy a Skag again, V-Ride 2 over a Ferris? No! But why? But why? Because when I'm going up these hills, on my Toro or my Walk Behind Skags, I can go wide open while the deck's going cutting, right? Not even an issue! When I do it on that big V-Ride... Yes, it's very big and heavy. It's just underpowered. No matter what anybody says. Now, am I going too fast straight up the hills? Probably, but that don't matter. Hey, motherfucker, cost a ten, almost ten thousand freaking dollars. Are you kidding me? Don't be making excuses for something that costs ten grand. A lawn mower. It should be able to freaking wheelie up at here, now, shouldn't it? Come on, let's start talking about prices. Everybody's like, "Oh, it's just ten grand." Are you stupid? If you're like a multi hundred millionaire, yeah, ten grand would be like a pee in a bucket. But I'm not a hundred millionaire. I'm not even a millionaire, and I'm the one of the cheapest dudes you'll ever meet. So ten grand on a lawnmower is a lot to me. If you if you say it ain't, I mean it don't matter if I've got the work for it. Yes, does it pay for itself? Yes. Do I make money off of it? Yes. That's not the point. I could take that money from that and put it towards advertising and make more money and have, you know, buy newer, more, cheaper machines, like more SWZTs because they'll do the job just fine. Or I could have bought a Tiger Cat or something, you know. There's other options, but that's the way, that's the prices. If you're just one guy, that's why I wanted that stand on so I could blow and trim and everything on a mower in case I lose my help again without finding anybody within a week or two so it's literally that's the reason I bought it I'm serious so I have to admit is the Ferris better I don't know but it's got that big block on it and that's what I want I want to be able to run up a hill as fast as I want to, not be limited by some old freaking Kawasaki, 23 and a half horsepower. Now, on a flat and tall grass and stuff, Skag, he's fine. But, man, I'm telling you, when I go up a hill and he's bogs and mowing, I get so mad y'all don't even know. I about get off of it 
with a sledgehammer and say, F it, I'll pay for a piece of junk that I just broke and I'll feel better. I'm serious. I got so mad at that thing. We was cutting. It was cutting some good stuff, but every time I'd speed up to get a little bit of speed and uh, up the hill, that is. On the flat, I can go 110. It's it's labeled at 10 and a half miles an hour, so it's close. It's fast. I mean, that mower is fast. Turning, curb jumping. I don't know if they make a better mower to cut because those tires are so big and it's got so much clearance. So I love to curb jump with that SV ride too. I love the stance of it. I love how it takes heels. It sticks. It's crazy how good that mower really is. Now do it. But when it gets steep enough, I don't take it on there. You know why? Because weight. That SWZT walk behinds are about six, seven hundred pounds. That thing's almost double, like twelve hundred pounds or something, plus a rider. 12, 1300 pounds total. You don't want to put it on too steep of a hill because of that reason. Because safety, you don't, if something roads below you or a house, you don't want a 1200 pounds going down the freaking hill 100 mile an hour. But now, see that skag will slow itself down, and but that's if it catches traction when it depends on the hill you're on. So, what's the safest thing for a hill? A walk behind. There isn't not even a debate. They're lighter. They tread better. They do everything better on a hill. Stand on to do it, but I'm just talking if you want to get into semantics. It's better. But anyway, when I stood on that, that V-Ride 2, I found love. I still love it. I do. It's my only complaint so far. The only... That is the only complaint I have is power. But to me, see, I'm like the worst enemy of some of these companies because I have I do this thing called I'm honest. I have ragged steel. I have ragged Husqvarna. I have ragged Skag. I've ragged Tor. Every brand I have, listen to my channel. I have ragged all of them and exposed all their problems. Husqvarna don't care, though. That's what's funny. They know they got a good product, and they still work with me. Think about that for just a second. I've got video na titled, I am done with Husqvarna. Did they ask me to take it down when they working with me now? No. They know their stuff is good. They know I had a defective uh, handle anyway, but now it's, you know, that's why I fell in love with it after the fix the handle. So... These are some good companies. I think Briggs and Stratton that owns Ferris, they're probably good. I like that company. They own Snapper too. Uh, don't they own Simplicity as well? All right, so uh, I would say in a year to two years, I'll be purchasing another mower if I'm still in business. And you're going to say, what do you mean if you're still in business? Well, how many of y'all can guarantee that you know you're going to be in business in a year or two? I'm waiting. Have you give me your guaranteed? No, you couldn't. You know why? Because you don't know what's going to happen. You've got health reasons. You could move. Your spouse could get a job. I mean, we could talk for hours about the possibilities. But God will, and I have zero plans of quitting. So, I plan, using quotes, air quotes, <coughs> getting another mower in a year or two. The SWZT is staying until it just blows up. The SWZ will probably stay till it blows up. I'll probably just keep putting motors, motor engines on those. So I'll be getting another stander. If Skag has a big block Vanguard on their EFI, I'll buy, man, that V-Ride would be the, the mower of the universe probably. If they don't, and I go to buy one, guess what brand you're going to see? You're going to see what's in, the, in this video right here, Ferris. I know they're good for the mountains because Happy uses them, him and Boss. So I can physically watch their channel, and they film all the time. Like, they're one of the daily, 
I don't know how they got that energy with all them kids and all the work they do, but they do it somehow. I need to get my, uh, what do you call, my better half helping me, maybe, <laughs> uploading videos every day and make them, I need some help, that's my problem. You know, when you do everything by yourself. Anyway, Ferris is, I'm all Ferris. I love Ferris. Do I own a Ferris? No. Have I ever owned a Ferris? No. I sat on them. I played with them. I liked them. I really did. I also like the Toro. I'm biased towards Toro. I like Skag. I like Snapper. I've never played with a Grasshopper. I've played with John Deere, everything. I've played with most brands. I have never even touched a Grasshopper, and I've never drove a Dixie, which I think they're out of business anyway, ain't they? So a Grasshopper, I have no history. A Hustler. I've messed with Hustlers, but I've never... I think they got a stand on now, don't they? And I haven't used the Cub Cadet commercial grade units. Like, their walk behind had my interest peaked. We have a dealer here in Kingsport. But they're the same price as the Skag. And I was like, hey, I'm buying a Skag. Let me tell you, Skag is king in my area. It's like Ram Trucks. It used to be a bunch of Fords and Chevys here. Now, man, you can't even... Well, Ram just outsold Chevrolet for the first time last year in 2018. They're going to own the market soon, I'd say. They have the chance of... It don't matter. I'm getting into truck talk now. But anyway, this is the dealer right here. I'm going to get a Red Max. I'm going to get 28 or 29 cc Red Max. It's like $399.99. Just 400 bucks. But on top of the other... I don't know how many thousand dollars I've spent on weed eaters. You know, just those two 535s was a thousand dollars. One's 499 and one's... 479 that's just for two that ain't including all my other trimmers so i've spent a small fortune in trimmers <coughs> and i'm ordering uh from husvarna the 580 bts mark ii i just gotta get online i need to do it as soon as i get off here with y'all and have that baby sent to my doorstep god i love that old company anyway I had some plans of buying some other brand trimmers just to do it to make more videos because I might as well go with the trimmer guy. Stigma I've got. I've been labeled and that's what people likes to watch that I make. That's the thing. Because they can tell who's passionate and who's just, you know, full of it. There's a lot of guys that tries to make trimmer and I watch them and they say nothing right. I mean, they don't, they don't even know what a four mix is or nothing and they'll sit there and tell you what's better and I'm like, bro! Do you even mow? I don't never type to them, and I'm not going to thumbs down. I don't, You know I refuse to thumbs down. I know it helps their channel. I'll thumbs up, but I don't, just because I don't know. I'm not a negative person at all. So I'm going to get me a Red Max. I'm not a fan of their triggers. And I'm going to get that Husqvarna blower. And I might just get me a, another steel. Ooh, did you hear that? I have a plan on getting another steel something. Ooh. Actually, I wouldn't care to have that fuel-injected steel chainsaw, but I'm sorry. Husqvarna done owns me in the chainsaws, too. Oh, that freaking power band, that twang, twine that Husqvarna makes when you open her up is unreplaceable used to i couldn't tell the difference in them really but now since i've researched and used mine and played with them i can tell that little oh it sounds so good at husvarna mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. so yeah what else was i gonna say yeah 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 i went back to the standard so skag ended up winning Ferris won almost. Hindsight's 2020. I'm going to admit to y'all now, I wished I'd have bought 
that thing that Happy uses. It's a Z3, I think. They pri- I've got the price in there and everything. I was going to buy that sucker. Until I stood on that stupid skag. It ain't stupid skag. Y'all don't understand. I'm overcritical because I just am. Because I want y'all to know that it's a problem in my opinion. So I over... Talk about its power. It's not that weak, for one. It's just, I don't know. It just, it, to me, it is. I want to be able to cut freaking, you know, rows of people or something wide open. I don't care if you ever watched Evil Dead or one. <laughs> I want just, uh, oh, man, I just, you know, I want that power, son. I want to run over a freaking Pinto, Ford Pinto, and it just go, and not even bog. Why can't the mower companies make that for ten freaking thousand, ten thousand dollars, people, for these mowers and up? We deserve better, and we're going. We need to band together and demand it, or don't buy them. I see the Wright family's doing it. Ferris is doing it. Skag ain't doing it. Bad boy ain't doing it, and the rest of them ain't doing it. I need to band together. I don't know, man. I'm about to say I'm on the precipice of saying Skag's best Skag's best mower I ever had. Better than my Toro. And y'all know what? Mm, I don't know if it's better, but by golly, I like it more. I'll tell you that. I'm using my Toro today at my house. My Z Master. Yes, I still got it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Oh, the snapper's gone, and I'm going to try to get rid of that little zero turn, that little Toro. My freaking brother needs to I need to text him and ask him if he wants it. I've said that for like three years, and I never message him about it. I don't know if he wants it or not. I want it out of my freaking building to make room for more toys. Got a go-kart to build, and you know, you never know when I buy another mower anyway, but I don't have a plan right now. The only thing in my sights is a backpack blower, Red Max, and a steel trimmer. Yes, yeah, steel trimmer. And a another Husqvarna 535 LST, another 525 LST. I'd like to have a 550 XP or even in the 700s, 900 series chainsaws. I want to go to where I'm spending about, you know, $1,500. Because I want to. Uh, What else is in my eye line? That's about it. There's nothing from Echo I'm interested in. I love the... I've almost bought one of their backpack blowers, but I'm one of Mark II. I love it. 770. I think that 770 is the best all-around blower. Now, I didn't say... I said all-around is in... I don't think they make one more comfortable because I've used them all except for the like brand new ones like the 800. That 600 steel is real good. I just don't like the noise it makes. That's all. Y'all know I sold my steel and I don't sell nothing because of the four mix, just that noise it makes. But I'm going to buy another one. I got some videos planned out. I'm going to embrace my trimmer world. I'm just going to start buying. Maybe. That's my plan. Never know what's going to happen in life. But that Red Max will be mine as soon as I get down. <laughs> and so is that backpack blower as soon as I order it. Man, I've done spend a freaking fortune on Amazon Prime Day. They got a 190 piece Craftsman socket set. Right now y'all should get for 120 and Stanley owns it. Black at Stanley Black and Decker. And I love Stanley tools. I don't care. I, they've always worked. I've never broke a Stanley branded tool. I don't own like an automotive garage or a heavy equipment garage. So maybe I don't know. I'm talking my per for me. I've got lots of Stanley sets. Y'all have seen them in my videos. I've got lots of Stanley. And I got a lot of Craftsman and some Matco. I don't have but like one or two Snap-ons. I'm not impressed. But anyway, Ferris is what I would have got if it wasn't for the Skag. That was my... I wanted the Husqvarna Stander. 
but it was a lot narrower, but I still wanted it. I'm not going to lie to you. I still might end up with one in the future. not going to say I'm not. I still think that's things good looking. That mower is good looking. I like who's far as walk behinds because they're Gravely's. Gravely switched to the new version of their pro stance or whatever. So John Deere uses their Gravely old ones and Husqvarna uses their old one, older design. So their walk behinds operate like a zero turn. They got lap bars, so to speak, instead of letting it in and you know, just letting your hand open and it just go like an X mark and skag. Which that might that might be the way I want to go in the future. But I would want Husqvarna written on the side of it. Cause come on. Who's Varna's colors is beautiful. I don't care what anybody says. You're going to say I'm biased. I'm going to say yes because I like that. Dude, their logo is the coolest logo. Y'all know how much I like Pew Pews. Research their company. They started out as a Pew Pew manuf manufacturer. That's a site. Their logo is the manliest logo on earth. They got better logos than Smith and & Wesson. And, <laughs> and they still make them. But anyway, I'm going to shut up now. Peace. Chicken grease.